Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kirusho here, and now, before we begin, a number of things have happened. Now, we had Izuku Midoriya. Izuku Midoriya, he almost did something very, very stupid. He was willing to throw his life away to kill the man who murdered his grandmother. Now, luckily the old man, Grandpa Fist, the guy Deku he used to work for, the guy whose store was robbed, who was there to try and save his grandmother, he failed. But he called in some friends to try and save Izuku, stop him from making a choice that would ruin his life forever. Now, Pop Step and the Skycrawler. Two of Knuckle Duster's oldest friends. Two people he's known for a long time. He still talks to. He asked these two for help with this very special situation. And the two, they were more than happy to come back to Japan and help their old friend. But right now, they're concerned. Deku, they took him down. And now that he learned that he has two heroes on call, he wants to spend time with them. However, he talked to his grandfather about how things are. And he's going to put down his vigilante work for a second to try and go back to normal life. Go back to routine. The only thing that's really different now is that he has two pro heroes he can train with. Now then, with that being said, we do currently pick up at the store where Deku, Deku he does sit there with Knuckle Duster. The old man expressing as he does going to bring up something and talk to Deku. Him going to bonk him on the head with a book he rolled up. And he does going to tell the boy. Didn't he tell him not to do something so stupid like that? Hey, old man. Stop that out. Hmm? <coughs> Did I knock something loose, kid? I said cut that out. <laughs> Didn't sound like it. You're annoying me, you know that? How am I annoying you? You could have stopped her from being killed. <sighs> you don't think I know that, kid? I'm sure you do. I do. Now listen to me. I messed up, and I'm sorry. If I was a little bit faster, I would have saved her. That's on me. You can't blame me. These old bones of mine, they hurt. Still, uh, never mind. Still what? Drop it, kid. Listen. My two friends, they'll help you out. Okay, so when am I going to meet them again? Well, I've been keeping them away from the shop, but since you're... Better today? I'm about 90%. You sure? Yeah. The thing is, though, um, my latest boost, I feel better. I mean, pretty soon I'll be able to heal within the week. Huh. <laughs> Ain't that interesting. So where's your strength at? I think over one ton. Probably closer to two now. Yikes. And your speed? Pretty good. Uh, probably about a, a bit better. <laughs> Kid, you improve every time you get your ass kicked. And you find trouble. It finds me. <laughs> Either way, that's a pretty good power. Wish I had it. Aren't you corkless? I am. But I wasn't always that way. Now, Kid, you're going to sit there, shut up, and listen. All right, I'm going to tell you a story. Now, Knuckle Duster does go over a bit. He goes over how he lost his quirk. How at one point, he was a pro hero. Then he encountered this villain. He lost his quirk and lost his hero license. Eventually, he became a vigilante. He tried to be a good guy, even though he didn't have the power to do so anymore. He got on his feet, and he was just a guy who had a good heart. 
and that heart ultimately ultimately in the end it eventually did turn on him his heart's been getting worse with age he's not too sure if it's because of the loss of his quirk or because he's just old but knuckle duster he had to put down the vigilante work because he had a heart attack and deku he does hear about that the old man does still keep in decent shape but when it comes to lifting heavier weights and being that big old tough guy again that's not him anymore and deku he feels a bit sad for knuckle duster i mean all for one a uh, power to steal quirks that sounds insane and right now the old man does gonna tell deku he has an appointment hmm? you do old gramps no kid you do the old man gonna express his friends are outside go to the beats and train and uh if he sees one of those girls again the ones he hangs out with how about he tries to talk to them they've been giving him some distance for a bit of time but they are his friends <clears throat> call them up and talk to them i mean hey maybe he might get married one day and deck to stare at the old man hey, let's just talk about it <laughs> maybe <laughs> you like one of the two not sure. I mean, the dark-haired one, she likes to be aggressive, and I find that kind of cute, I guess. <laughs> well, that's nice. You know what you want. She's direct and assertive. Maybe. But then there's also Pinky. The girl with the acid quirk? Yeah. She's outgoing, yeah, and she's confident. Also, she can throw caution to the wind. It's kind of impressive, I guess. She has her own thing and doesn't want people to tell her what. I respect it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kid, you like those girls. Anyways. <sighs> Be careful. Pretty sure your gramps doesn't want any little problems running around. How's a problem going to run, ar run around? I'll let you figure that one out yourself, kid. Now, Deku is going to stand up. Him going to walk outside. And Skycrawler and Popstep, the two are out there waiting. As they do go to help Deku get to the beach. And Deku is trying to talk to the two a bit more on his way there. And he even does hear about how the two, they knew Knuckle Duster whenever he was still... Well, himself, or the vigilante. I mean, it's weird, but it's definitely cool. It's also weird to be back home. And Deku, while the two are talking, he does get sent out a, a text to both Mina and Karishima. And there currently is Karishima. Karishima, she was doing push-ups in her room. And she was getting ready to do more intense training with a baseball bat. And there actually is Mina. Mina herself actually was trying to do a bit more with stretching. And get a little bit more better with acrobatics. As whenever her phone did start to buzz, she went to go turn. Her going to bring her hands up and pull her legs somewhat closer together. Her being able to get into a sitting position as she does then go to stand. Her going to turn and run over to her phone. And whenever the two do realize that Deku wants to meet them at the beach, they start heading out there immediately. Now, Deku just talked about a big surprise. And whenever the two got there, there currently was Deku. Deku stood on the beach, him rushing towards two pros. As Popstep, she has come hopping in, her leaping in forwards fast and smashing her legs directly into Deku's arms. Deku being sent flying backwards as his legs do skin and berry to the dirt. Deku trying to keep himself steady as Skycrawler, he himself is going to fly forwards. Him getting ready as Deku does try to defend. And Crawler, he does go zooming towards Deku at high speeds. Before ever Deku is going to throw out his hand, Crawler does going to turn all his momentum from going forward to moving sideways. 
Whenever Deku went to go throw out his hand, Crawler, he actually saw the way Deku, he moved. Deku threw his fist out as if he was sure. But Crawler, he's not going to go for a straight, honest attack. Crawler going to move sideways quickly. Before he does go to spin his body. And then when he does go to spin and angle his body, he does throw all his momentum back towards Deku. As Deku, whenever he does go to try and turn to face Crawler, he's struck in the side by a kick from Pop Step. Him moving full, well, moving to the side, and someone leaping a bit more off of his toes. And Deku, whenever he does come off of the balls of his feet, Crawler is going to move forwards. Him smashing his feet, drinking at Deku, and he does get sent flying into a wall. Him smashing into it as he does get buried by some of the rubble. Now, Mina and Karishima were both sitting there, and the two, they turn to face the wall. Uh, are you okay in there? I'm good. Oh, you guys are here. They're going to sit up. And as he does so, there is where his shirt, it does look a lot more tattered. Deku going to stand back up, as he's going to bring his hands up. Him going to stretch, as the two do see Deku, he's got damage. And his shirt is torn, and... Beefcake. Now, the two do stare at Deku. And Karishima, she is quite intrigued. Deku definitely looks a lot more musky than the last time she saw him. I mean, his physique is a lot more toned, musculature is through the fucking roof, and holy shit, what's his body fat at? Let her mind. And there actually is Mina. Mina does his thing. Cute guy. Shirtless. Neat. Now, what the two are thinking is very different. That just seems to be what would best reflect their canon personalities. Don't take that as actual fact. With that being said, the two do turn back to the heroes. As exactly why Izuku, he's kind of fighting pros. And if he's in trouble or not. Now, Deku, he does get to introduce the two to Crawler and Popstep. Or Skycrawler and Popstep. Now, I need to figure out their actual names. But I'm wondering if I can even pronounce them. Now. I'll keep calling them that for right now, and if anyone does get annoyed, please understand. Anyways, with that being said, Deku would just try to introduce these two to the American heroes. And over the two are confused as to why exactly he's training so intensely with them, he does is to tell them about his quirk again. And the two do kind of understand. I mean, if Deku gets to a pro hero level whenever he's still in UA, that could do him a lot of good. And right now, a lot of training does commence. Deku, he does start to train with Popstep and the Crawler. The two, they do still try and get Deku to calm back down. Come back down to the level of understanding. The kid didn't mean to kill his grandmother. It was an accident. It was all a bad thing. So, he should just understand. People make mistakes. The kid was scared. He was frightened, and now he's going to jail. So, he'll have time to think about what he did. He might even train right Deku while he's inside. So Deku needs to keep an open mind. The kid knows he made a mistake, and now he's paying for it. So, isn't that enough? No one else needs to die. And Deku, over the course of a few months, he does start to learn a bit more about that lesson. And with this time, he does also improve his quirk a lot more. Now, Deku, he took a few beatings. Let's say at least five to six major beatings. And there actually was where he was trying to train for UA. In the last month, his improvements have done him very good. And Crawler and Popstep, the two are actually concerned about fighting him now. I mean, it's like facing an actual villain. It's an actual workout. And that, it isn't very fun. I mean, they were surprised by the way he's improved. His attitude, his demeanor, and his healing is just a little under a week for a broken bone. So, 
they can actually put more effort into attacking, get more serious. That being what the Dudu think. And Deku, he currently is rushing at the pro heroes, as Kirishima and, well, Mina, do both sit there. And the two do talk about it. Asking each other about UA, and wondering if they'll even get in. However, the two, they really do have their thoughts cut short. Over Deku, he's sent flying, and he does go smashing into the wall again. Him going to fall forwards and smash onto the ground. As the two do go to stand up, walk past the staircase, and look down and see Deku about 10 feet away. And they do go look at each other, and then go to ba look back at him. Before Deku, he does get to have his hand so it move. The two walking back over the stairs and sitting down. He's still alive. And Deku, he does go to roll into his side. Okay, that actually hurt a lot. You alright? No, I think something else is broken. The two walking over. And Deku, yeah, he's pretty banged up. So, this is definitely, yeah, they uh, need to take him to the hospital right now. That being on the crow's mind. And Pop Step, she tried to stay with the two to talk about it. And it was kind of strange. The two wanted her advice. And they're also even curious about the Skycrawler. I mean, he's a decent looking pro hero, and they've looked him up online, and he's pretty average, I guess, for a hero. But he's pretty good, too. I mean, his quirk is so weird. That being what the do think. And Crawler, he took Deku to the hospital. And over Deku, he got an examination and checked out. They found out exactly what happened. Deku had to go through and have some x-rays done. But whenever he was learning about his regeneration quirk, they thought that that quirk would take care of the rest of it. And Deku is even told about what happened. He will be staying for observation, and he should take it easy for the next couple hours to possibly days. If he does still feel discomfort in his chest and in his abdomen, then actually come back and they'll perform more scans see what might be wrong because if his body does heal itself and it still is in pain something might have been well put somewhere it wasn't supposed to be or something may have not healed correctly if that's impossible for generation abilities and Deku understood as there was where crawler he left Deku to himself and Deku he just lay there thinking about UA. And the time, it did start to pass. And Deku, he had to try and design his hero costume. It was definitely something intriguing. And that's where Deku, he had an idea for one very simple costume. It was a lot more personal to him. And he wanted it to be seen by people. So he went out to the mall. And he did run into somebody with a bit of a fiery temper. Now, we do actually cut up to UA. Or the day of the entrance exam. Where everybody, they're walking in. And Deku, he does still get a look up towards UA. Actually seeing the school. I mean, he's actually here. And, uh, yeah. Thinking back on it, trying to murder that guy to be here, it, it would definitely ruin this moment. Okay, okay. Deku going to step forwards. And there is where Deku, whenever he does his step forwards, someone does go to run past him. Them smashing into somebody as they, they themselves do go to fall forwards. Deku turning and bringing his hand out. And whenever he does so, he does go to grab the girl who is about to fall by her hand, before he does to pull her up and close to him. And now Chakra is going to look up to see Deku. As she does stare directly at him, surprised and confused because she remembers feeling like she was falling and then this guy uh, in front of her face and too close, her backing away. 
sorry, 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 I, I, no, wait, you, you, you helped me, and I was gonna fall over, uh, thank you. <laughs> no problem. You good? <laughs> no, no, I'm actually really, really panicking. That doesn't sound too good. It really isn't, and I'm worried. About? About the fact that we're at UA, and... Okay, chill. Huh? Calm down. I mean, do you really think heroes got in here by freaking the fuck out? How are you so calm about all this? Hmm. Just my personality, I guess. Listen, um... What was your name? Ochako Yuraka? Okay, listen, Ochako? I'll call you Ochako. Uh, okay. Listen. Take a second, calm down, and get focused. The simplest way to think about it is the same way my grams told me. Being nervous and having your anxiety flare up during something intense... It's not you being scared or worried. It's just your adrenaline spiking. I mean, your body knows it's going to go through some intense shit, so it's just getting ready. Huh. I sort of... Yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, we are going to be fighting robots. <laughs> you see, now that's a spirit. You see, I just can't wait for that. Huh? I mean, come on. Be want to crush a giant robot, punch through it, and see exactly how hard it can hit me? <laughs> oh, boy. Thinking about tearing apart a few of those things gets my blood pumping. Her seeing Deku bring his hands up, and she actually see a bit of scars on his left arm. Her surprised and... Right, we're going to turn her walk back inside. This guy did help her out, and his words did sort of calm her nerves. As right now, she's going to walk over to her area. Deku, he actually does do one simple thing. He goes to sit down in his area with Mina and Kirishima. And a few rows back, he's pretty sure he saw that fiery blonde he met a few months ago. I mean, she was that one cute blonde, right? I mean, highly aggressive, assertive, and cool quirk? Yeah, it sounds like it's that hot blonde. That currently on Deku's mind. And he does keep wondering why he's thinking about her that way. Really just a mystery, huh guys? Anyways, now. Deku, he does go through this test. And he's a bit more... Oh, shit. Now. Him and the two do sit there. And currently, Deku, he does gonna look over towards Kirishima. And Kirishima, she does gonna somewhat turn to him to see him. As he does gonna turn and look back towards Mina. And Mina does gonna give Deku a bit of a smile. As he does go to look back down at his own paper. Okay, so. Maybe he. No. Oh crap, they were so focused on training. Ah, uh, okay, okay, uh. Okay. He knows some of this stuff, so just uh, do what you can for Gramps' studying and all that crap you made to make up for. Deku is going to start filling in his exam. And whenever he does get to turn his in, there is where Deku, he does make his way over to the combat area where everybody else does move to. And currently, Deku, he does stand at the back of the line. He's wondering about how well everybody else might have trained. How well everyone they've uh, improved. And honestly, his blood's pumping at this. I mean, he's finally here at UA. He's going to get to smash robots and have a ton of fun. And this is going to be good. And okay, okay. No, no, he can't sit back here. He needs to get to the front of the line. Deku's stepping forwards. And there is where Deku, he doesn't feel somebody bring their hand up to his shoulder. Him feeling them squeeze tightly, remember he still kept moving. Deku is going to turn and grab onto their arm. Before he does a turn and look to get them, bring up his fist. 
and the person, they do, they do going to bring up their free hand trying to tell him, hey, 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 they just want to talk to him. Hmm? Sorry, man. Don't do that right now. Uh, adrenaline's high. I got to get, get to the front of the line and talk to that girl. What girl? Her. They're good turning his head. Oh, her, Ochako. You know her. <clears throat> know her? Uh, technically, I guess I do. I met her earlier. What about her? You're going to disturb her, and... <laughs> Not really, man. Okay, uh, just watch this. Dougie bring up his hand. And he is going to turn and look at it. That's his thing. Dougie turning around. And walking to the front. Bazita? He tried to bring his hand up again. But whenever he did go to bring his hand up to Deku's shoulder to stop him, the guy just moved through as if he wasn't there. And Deku is going to walk up, bring his hand up on her shoulder, as right now Chocolate is going to look down. Okay, right, right. She's, uh, she's not nervous. Her adrenaline is just high. Her adrenaline is just high. Her adrenaline is just... <laughs> hi, Ochako. Hi, hi, I, I didn't expect you there, and... Hey, nice to see you. You look calm. <laughs> yeah. Adrenaline spiking. So, uh, what's your quirk? Hmm? Oh, um... It's zero gravity. Yours? Uh, that's weird. To explain. Your quirk sounds cool, though. Hmm? Thanks. For the vote of confidence. Yeah. Gotta tell you, though. When this does start... I'm gonna be fast, so hopefully I do see you in UA. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. I'll see you there too. Yeah, hey, maybe we'll be classmates. Try your best. Hmm? Thanks, I will. Her gonna don't smile. She feels a lot better knowing that somebody else is taking this a lot less serious. And Dekka does a turn back towards Zeta. Him going to bring his hand up and put his thumb to his nose before going to wiggle his fingers at Ida. And the guy does stare at Deku a bit more annoyed. As Deku does get a turn back and whenever the bell is going to sound, he does go to rush forwards fast. And Ida was surprised, along with everybody else. Because, what the hell was that sound? And then Deku, he was off. Now, Ida tried to run forwards and go after Deku to try and catch up. He's clearly fast. I mean, a speed quirk. Someone he can race against and train with. This will definitely be interesting. And there actually was where Ida, he tried to help out. He tried to go around and fight as many robots as he could. He also made it his own personal goal to get top score over that guy. And Deku, we currently do have where he does stand in the middle of a city block. He was surrounded by a few robots. And whenever he went in to go punch them, he discovered something. He hit them really, really hard. And they broke. So he tried to hold back. And it happened again. So he just tried running at one. And apparently whenever he goes to run at it and it does make contact with him, the amount of force it exerts, he's kind of too sturdy. That'd be what Deku does think. Him rushing at the robot at high speeds, as his body is the projectile. Him smashing into it and running through it. And a ton of people do go to watch Deku. Him just standing there, looking around. Okay, so what next? A three-pointer right behind him, bringing its hand up and smashing it down on Deku's back. As Deku does a turn to look back towards it, it going to feel the mechanisms in that, in that arm go to be destroyed and somewhat crushed. Whenever it does go to try and bring this arm back down, it does go to put the weight unevenly on that broken arm. As whenever it does go to bring up another functioning one, it does start to move a bit sideways. And Deku is going to turn and bring his hand up. Him throwing his fist out and smashing it into the robot, pulling it backwards, and thinking a bit more about what's going on. This was supposed to be fun, but it's just... It's boring. Why do you even come here anyways again? Right, this is about UA. But no robots. 
now. Deku, he's a bit more disappointed. And right now, the Zero Pointer does going to make an appearance. And Deku, whenever he does see that thing, it is massive. And everybody, they started to run away from it. Clearly, it's a big thing, and clearly it's powerful, and clearly it's huge. That on everybody's mind. And Deku, he currently does go to stare at a few people. As he does get a turn and look at many of them. They're running? Seriously? Deku going to bring up his hands, into a stance. Okay, 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 okay. Big robot. That on his mind. And Deku does go rushing forwards. And tons of people, they're running away. But we do actually have in the observation room. Where, all might, he stares back down at this young man. He remembers this boy. He was his original choice for one for all, but he was gone before he could give, them, give him the power. But right now, there he is. And he's rushing in to save that girl. That right now on the hero's mind. As Deku, he does go rushing forwards and leaping up into the air. Him smashing right into the metal of a robot. And a ton of people, they stopped running to stop and stare at the sky. As Deku, whenever he does get a smash into the robot, he does to pull out a lot of wires. Him pulling himself back and leaping out of the robot. As it does try and bring his hand down to smash down onto him. And Deku, he is going to hear the robot smash into the side of the building. As Deku is going to get ready, him bring up his fist as he is going to hear someone scream out for help. And Deku, he is going to stare up at the robot. And then he does going to hear them again. Okay, okay, just ignore it right now. And help! I can't get my leg free! Deku turning and seeing the rubble from the building. I'm going to look up. The building's unstable. Unsteady and God damn it, if any more of that comes down, but But big monster Deku looking at the robot and then looking at the building. Then looking back at the robot. And then the building and Damn it! I'm gonna turn and run over to the rubble. Him with one hand grabbing down at the largest chunk and throwing it about several feet behind him. And the girl is gonna somewhat sit there surprised. Deku bring his hands up, grabbing onto her and going to run, turning and running fast. Now, currently everybody, they do get to safety. And Deku is still holding onto this girl. As whenever he does get to get to safety, he does get a comment, turning and staring at a floating hat. Huh. Floating clothes or no no the shoes just floating shoes in a hat so there's glasses too and uh could you put me down bizarre question um can i assume i already have the answer um is the answer yes Yes. They go going to turn, walking over and going to set her down, before going to quickly move backwards and away, and bring his hands up. Okay, okay, definitely enough weirdness for today. This day is ruined. No robots. Well, there were robots, but they weren't tough. Damn it. He was so excited last night, too. He couldn't even sleep. That'd be what Deku does think. Him going to stretch. And currently Recovery Girl does come in. Her going to see Deku. And the amount of damage he does have on him is very... Minimum. It's definitely... Intriguing. And she does at least turn back to Toru. Asking the girl about if she does have any injuries. And she does just respond, no. And Deku, he does at least comment on it. He wants to know exactly why she was running around so freely. And she's trying to talk about it. The robots will be able to sense her otherwise. And her being able to sneak around them? Yeah. 
it's kind of nice. So, hey, don't judge her for it. And Deku does going to stare on at the expression on the lack of her face. Huh. I'm just surprised is all. I never met a invisible girl. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? My grandfather's a monkey man. Like, like an actual, are his hands, or are his feet hands? You know, I really don't know, actually. So, does he have a tail? My grandmother did. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm really hungry right now. The good turning. I'm gonna think. Okay, so a good lunch will make up for this day. And he is gonna walk away. And right now, there actually is Ochako. Ochako wanted to train join Deku for lunch. However, yeah. If she does do that, then she's definitely gonna have to miss a meal. And Deku, he does try to talk about it with Ochako. I'm kind of expressing that he wanted to be left alone for right now. And Ochako, she kind of didn't understand it, but she also kind of didn't. He saved that girl back there, and, well, yeah, he got into UA, right? His power was so strange. And Deku? He does just don't sit there. Right now, him on top of a rooftop. He comes here to think sometimes. I mean, the world just looks a little bit smaller from up here. And... And he's so bored. He wants to go out and fight, but people, they don't satisfy that itch he has. There's this thing in his head telling him to fight, and any time he gets a chance to, nothing compares to what he wants to deal with, handle? I mean, come on. Can't he just get... One serious and good fight. Ah. <sighs> okay, so that was all bad. Right. So, he's just wondering what to do next. And right now, Deku, he does get to head home. Gramps will be worried if he doesn't show up later. So, he's going to show up and put the old man's heart at ease. However, whenever Deku does get to head home that day, this thing else does happen. About a few hours later, All Might, him being the combat instructor, he was able to ask Nezu for information about a student. And Nezu, he understood why All Might was looking at this stu student in particular. Because of the perfect candidate for his power. That being on Deku's mind. And Deku, he was shocked whenever he opened the door and looked directly at All Might, staying there in a suit and tie. And Deku, aside from screaming like a fangirl, and his grandfather coming to run outside to see what's going on, the old man, he saw All Might at his front door, and he himself screamed like a fangirl. Now, Deku and his grandfather, the two, they do so and stand there, as All Might does to express to his grandfather about how he would like to talk to the young man about an incident that happened earlier today. Hmm? I didn't do it. Hmm? Young man, you're not in trouble. Sorry, for force of habit. Uh-huh. I see. Listen, can we go somewhere private to talk? Uh, Degabo Beach. I'll race you there. Hmm? What do you mean you'll... Him turning. And Deku... He's gone. You might want to hurry up. Hmm? Boys, I had started on you, Mr. All Might. Uh, see you when you get back. You are coming back, right? Yes, but... Think about Beach. Right. All Might disappearing before the man's very eyes. And the man... does just get to close the door. And Deku... He does try to make his way there fast. Him leaping through the air... And sitting down carefully on a rooftop. Don't crack the egg... 
and then he does start to run. Him running to the edge of it before leaping off of the railing and flying through the air fast. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Personal record, personal best, Digba Beach. Let's see. What was it? 42 seconds, and they're going to stop. Him at the stairs. Right. Okay, uh, All Might's not here. Good. Okay, personal best, 28 seconds. Young man, that's very slow. They're good turning. And All Might does currently stand there. Him with an ice cream cone in hand. And they're going to stare at the man. What? <sighs> How did you... Is that ice cream? Yes. Vanilla. Oh. I like Rocky Road. Yo, man, can we speak? Huh? Oh, right, yeah, sorry. He's been hungry lately. Hmm. It could be a part of your quirk. Huh? How many calories do you burn a day? Hmm. Count them. I... You count those? Young man, the fact that you've gotten into UA impresses me. For a multitude of reasons. This is not one of them. Thank you? It wasn't a compliment. Listen, young Midoriya. I'm here to talk to you about a number of things. Most importantly, your power. You've definitely improved from the last time I've seen you. And I have questions. Right, right. But first, can we get a match? Yes. I'd like to see where you're at. And Deku is going to bring his hands up. Him, I mean the Russian, the number one hero. And All Might, he does going to try and teach Deku a lesson before making him an offer. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.